I might not have any charge TMs, but I have 170 something fast TMs and we're going to use it with Smackdown Chestnut. Look into the first game right now. Chestnut smacking down an Altaria. Now, usually, as you know, this is not a good matchup from a Chestnut. But with SmackDown, this is actually a winnable game. So I am going to shield the Sky Attack because that's going to do a lot of damage. And Chestnut going to form up to two superpowers. And I'm going to unleash this on this Altaria, even though it is resisted. I do get a shield. Hey, Chestnut, high five. You get a shield from Altaria. That, that rarely happens. Going to go for another superpower. And they decide to not block. But they do have to throw a move or I will get to smack it down. I'm going to let this go. Chestnut, you have done your duty. I love you so very much. Goodbye. And I'm going to come in mud shot down with Clock Sire. So now we have some energy. We got a shield. And here comes a stupid Vigoroth. Not a fan of Vigoroths. But I'm going to go for an Earthquake. Going to do a lot of damage. Half of this Vigoroth's life if they don't shield. And they decide to let it go. So I'm like, okay, cool. So they're going to go for a Body Slam. Going to do nothing to this Clock Sire. And or freaking Brick Break. Which does lower my defense. And they do win charge move priority. But still, Body Slam is not going to do. Actually, you know what? That did kind of a lot. That did more than it should have. I mean, well, the, with the Brick Break defense drop, that did more. But Stone Edge coming through. going to take out this Vigoroth. And there is a Town Flame. So, I mean, it's a good game, right? We win this one. I'm going to go for a Scald. Uh, they either block and we just go for another Scald or they let it go and we win. They decide to block. That's okay. Another Scald is going to come your way, Town Flame. Don't you worry. I am going to be very risky and not block, even though that could have been a Brave Bird. That could have been a Brave Bird. And if it was a Brave Bird, I think that would have taken me out. Maybe. But we do have Clock Sire in the back. So I guess either way, it's going to be a win-win a, a situation. So good game. Smackdown Chestnut is, is great. I love him. Bad lead. Wish I didn't have freaking Smackdown. I wish I had the other move. But I'm going to come in with Clock Sire versus the Steelix. They are deciding to stay in. But then they switch to... Oh, God. I know y'all clowned me on the last uh, few videos of how I say these names. But come on. They're not easy to say, some of them. Did you know why? Did you, you see the damn bird? You see whatever the grass bird thing? You see it. It came in. It's going to go for Frenzy Plant. That does a lot of damage to my Clock Sire. I'm going to go for a Stone Edge to try to take out this Digimon. Digimon? I'm going to call it Digimon. Is that okay? Cool. So I'm going to try to take out this Digimon with a Stone Edge. Doesn't get. Oh, they get greedy. And Clock Sire, you tanky little blob, is able to get to a Stone Edge to take out the D Digiwine or Digimon, but they decide to block and farm down. So this Digimon has a lot, a lot of, of energy. So I'm going to come in. Hopefully they just like kind of blind throw and they kind of think maybe they would blind throw into a. A frenzy plant. But I'm going to block just because I'm like, oh, I think you can learn a uh, brave bird. But now that I know I saw spirit shackle, um, I can just let this go. It's not going to do that much damage. Oh, it's not. Sorry. Did I say spirit shackle? What move is that? Shadow sneak. I'm pretty sure I can learn some type of spirit ghost move. They come with charge a bug and uh, then they come back with steelix. And this is just uh, going to be easy for Whisk, Whisk Cash to uh, sweep this game with some Skull, with some Mud Bombs. I'm going for Skull. I don't know if I'm supposed to go for Double Mud Bomb, but hey, they conceded and we win the game. So good job, team. Good job. Going into the next match, we have Chestnut versus Altaria. Usually, yes, I would switch out. But with SmackDown, Chestnut. Oh, baby, we we, we, we going to stay. We're going to stay to play. And I'm sure the opponent's like, why the hell is this just not doing some damage? It's because I do have SmackDown. Like the last game, I am going to block and to, and try to get up to close to two superpowers. And we're just going to try to get a shield. So I am up at two superpowers. Going to go for the first one. Going to do some damage, even though it's resist. It's going to still do some damage. They do decide to block. And I go straight away for another superpower. I think I should have done a few SmackDowns and then go to superpower, but... It's fine. We get two blocks this time and we are doing some damage. We got Altaria to red. I'm going to come in. I think I can mud shot down this Altaria, but it actually has a little bit more health than I would like. They go for Dazzling Gleam. I feel like Sky Attack would have been the better situation. And here I am. I am trying so hard with this Clock Sire to, to mud shot down this freaking flying dragon, but it's not working. And so I'm like, all right, go for Stone Edge. Maybe no bubble it, but it's going to KO either way. So Altaria is going to be going down. 
and they're going to come in with a, a quagsire. So not great. I'm going to switch to Whiskash to try to catch, I don't know, any move really. Just uh, I don't want it to go on my clog side because I think I might need him in the end. And they're staying in. And so I'm thinking they're going to try to catch it, but they're not. So now I'm like, Ugh. just in case it's an earthquake, let me block. Don't want to be surprised. It's just going to be a mud bomb. I'm going to go for my Scald. Hopefully get a debuff, do a lot of damage. Skull comes through, gets the debuff as well, which is perfect since I have no shields. So this is going to come through. Mud Bomb, not going to do that much damage. And still not coming in with their last Pokemon. So I, I, maybe they're just, they must be weak to Whiskash. So I'm thinking a Steel, a uh, Lantern, and it's going to be a, Ch a Gavantula. I thought it was going to be charge but No, no, no. A Gavantula. So uh, I'm going to go for a Skull and switch immediately to my Clock Sire because I do have a Stone a stone Edge loaded. And even though a Volt Switch goes through, uh, this Gavantula is going to be KOing. So goodbye, Gavantula. And say hello to me in a winning game for once. <laughs> I don't win a lot uh, with Pokemon's, uh, with these Pokemon's. But uh, hey, you know, this set uh, I didn't do too bad. Going into the next match, we have Chestnut versus Talonflame. I think this is a great matchup. I have Smackdown. Now, yes, these Incinerates is doing some damage, but look at the Smackdown. All I have to do is shield and smack down this Talonflame, and we win this uh, matchup. They do come in with Vigoroth, so I'm trying to get up to two superpowers, um, but I think Vigoroth might outpace me. They are going to shield, so I am going to switch into my Clogsire because Clogsire can tank whatever this has. I mean, if they have Bulldoze, which I don't think I've met a Vigoroth this season with. They go for Rock Slide. I don't think that was the move you were supposed to go for, but I have not met a Vigoroth that had Bulldoze anymore this season, so I think we're good. They go for uh, Body Slam, which I think is better than going for uh, Rock Slide. And I'm going to go for an Earthquake. This is going to do some damage to Vigoroth. Almost takes it out. I thought maybe I could Mud Shot, but I'm like, eh. I don't want to take that much damage on Clogsire. I want, I want the bulk to still be there. So I'm going to let this go. Go for a Stone Edge before they get to another Body Slam to take me out. And they're going to let this go, which is great. They're going to come in most likely, I'm guessing. No, they have a, a Lickitung. I don't really see Lickitung in this um, cup in the, what cup is this? Jungle cup. But uh, hey, there it is. A Lickitung right there. A bulky little thing. So this is not great considering it has power whip. Uh, but I am going to come in with cash and kind of just pray it doesn't get to a power whip. I'm also waiting for them to catch, but they didn't. So I am going to block the potential power whip. And they do go for that, which is great. And there, I'm, I, I don't know. What, look, I'm farming up to over 100 energy. Ask me why. I won't give you an answer. I don't know. I'm just kind of like, what do I do? <laughs> kind of. So I'm just farming up to max energy and going over it. And that wasn't good, but we're still, we're still trying here. Um, I switch to Chestnut thinking that I can catch the power whip. But they go for uh, a switch with Talonflame. I have a superpower ready. And that is going to take out the Ligaton. They had a shield, but I don't think uh, I don't think it mattered. They had to shield and, and then I had moves on. My Whiskash would have been the whole thing. So uh, good game. Good game. I, I'm really liking Smackdown Chestnut. It gets his move slower, but and it's not good. It's not bad against the Flowers. Uh, flowers, the Flyers. Chestnut versus Zwellis. Don't see this very often. Um, not sure why I stayed in, but I did for a little bit. I went to Clogsire. I don't know how to beat this. I don't really, I don't, um, hmm, I don't have anything to beat this thing. I decided to let this go. Uh, Dark Pulse does way more than I thought. And then they switched to a Whiskash. I'm like, oh God, come on, come on. So now all I'm hoping for is basically their game to crap out. That'd be nice. Uh, get some super lag. Um, I don't know. They... Forget they're playing Pokemon Go, put their phone down, and I win. Because I don't really see a win con other than those things happening. I do uh, block and go for a Earthquake, trying to KO this Whiskash. They do decide to block, and they're just going to... Well, they could have probably farmed me, uh, farmed a lot more energy, but they decide to go quickly for a Mud Bomb. It doesn't matter. Um, I, I don't win this. Um, I can't really farm down with anything. Chestnut does not have... 
the grass move fine whip or whatever grass move it has. So I'm going to try to farm this down with Smackdown, a resistant move. And we're just going to pray for the best. Skull does way more than it should have, Chestnut. Your grass. That's, and they get to another freaking move. Come on. So I, I, I think I have to block. I do decide to block. They do get another attack drop. They go for a Mantine. And it's just, uh, God, if I had Blizzard, this would be a different story. I wish at this moment I had Blizzard, but guess who has no charge TMs? Me. I have no charge TMs. I have 170 something fast TMs, but I don't think we have a win con here. But SmackDown Chestnut is still such a great little spice pick for the Jungle Cup and any cup really, just to catch these flyers off guard. Um, I'm just imagining them playing, going, "Why the hell does Chestnut have SmackDown?" And and it's just it's just fun. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose this game. So enjoy the rest of your day, night, whenever you're watching this, and please enjoy the rest of this video of me losing, and I'll be skedaddling. Okay, bye-bye. Da, 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 we're gonna lose this game. Na, 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 yes, we lost the game, yes, we, na, 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 yeah, ooh, ah, ah, na, na, da, da. We got a van done. Da 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 da